Those little flickers of darkness you see out of the corner of your eye, those aren't just spots or dust or a trick of light. Maybe they're ghosts, as some people believe. But I'm convinced they're the shadow people. Beings from a dimension close to our own, but not able to be seen when we focus fully on them. I have always been able to see the shadow people. When I was young, my mother had my eyes checked by several different optometrists because I complained about the things I saw. I learned to keep quiet about them, but it took a while. My first encounter with them took place when I was three or four years old. We lived in a high-rise flat with a sweeping view of the hills and the city below us. My best friend at the time, Michelle, was over on a play date. Her family lived across the landing and we spent more time together than apart. That day, she greeted me by running into my room, fueled by a ridiculous burst of enthusiasm. We had to play with my new dolls, she screeched at me. I was much more into dinosaurs and bugs, and that sounded like a terrible way to spend an afternoon. No, I insisted. We had to play Imagination, Godzilla vs. the Killer Wasps. I tried to stomp around the room and look menacing. Michelle huffed and disappeared. She was much faster than I was, and I wasn't very good at finding hiding people. But for all that, I should have seen her when I turned a corner. And I didn't. Then I saw a shadow lurking at the corner of my vision. Thinking it must be Michelle, I turned towards it, calling her name. There was no answer, and the shadow continued to dance and dart out of range of my direct stare, as if it were avoiding making eye contact with me. As the years went by, I began to believe that the shadow people were my friends, or even my protectors, like guardian angels. But then the nights became terrifying. I started to see the shadow people in the real shadows of my room. Many of them darted away when I tried to stare at them, but others hung around in the corners clustering like cobwebs. Then the noise started. It was like wind caressing leaves until they whispered. It was a language I couldn't comprehend, words I knew I would never understand unless I was somehow in their dimension. As the whispering grew more frantic, the shadow people began to come together and move towards me. I bolted to my parents and shook them awake. Of course they didn't believe me. Trying to coax me into believing it was just a dream or my imagination. I knew it was the shadow people. And if you see a shadow within the shadows, or a shape fitting at the edge of your vision, you may not be alone.